Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you, I have another little pocket radio. This one is the uh, EZ b, b model RD207. I got this guy on, uh, on Amazon. It's got a number of uh, features. It's uh, firstly an AM, FM pocket radio, but it also has an MP3 player and a flashlight. Let's just start up here at the top. We have the uh, FT card, or the, I'm sorry, the TF card, the micro SD card, can hold up to a uh, 32 gigabyte card, which I believe is what I have in there currently. Headphone jack, telescoping antenna, which is about I don't know about 18 inches long you have your selector here for your modes you have the mp3 FM and AM you have the forward and backwards track on your mp3 as well as your play and pause this mp3 player will remember where it left off so if you are listening to something and you turn it off turn it back on it'll continue right where it left off not just on the same track but the same position as well which is nice for what I like to use it for is listening to old-time radio shows so it works out good for that if you're halfway through the show and you got to do something else you turn it off and come back and turn it back on and uh, it'll be right where you left off On this side is just the dial face, um, the Easy BMB RD207. Um, it's a big area here. The um, dial is a little bit small given the amount of space that they dedicated to it. It does have a power LED indicator here um, that's on when the radio is on. So if you get the volume turned down or the headphones in, you can still see that you've got it powered up. It is all supposed to also supposed to light up an LED when it's charging the internal rechargeable battery and I think it's supposed to go out when it's fully charged although this doesn't come on but if I hold the radio like this and look down in this TF slot where the memory card goes I can see a, a red light in there so I'm assuming that something just didn't get aligned in this particular model perhaps on this side we have our tuning wheel and on this side we have the flashlight is off and it has a low mode and a high mode so I'll show that to you here we'll off low well I guess I should point that down and high so it's fairly bright for you know what it is and it's got two modes so that's kind of nice they also make a um, a AM FM no weather version of this radio that I believe is white but it does not have the mp3 function in it so you either choose between the weather alert function or the mp3 function whichever uh, whichever one you prefer I decided to get the mp3 version on this side we've got the volume on off here and the 5 volt DC input which is a um, a, um, a micro uh, USB connector that you use for all your cell phones and so forth there's nothing on the bottom and the battery compartment it's not a captive door there we go it is a 18650 cell and it has absolutely no markings on it so I don't know anything about the branding or the capacity uh, but I wouldn't think that this radio would draw too much current that uh, you'd probably get a long life out of one of these style batteries the 18650 and inside the battery case it has it in the plastic the um, lithium ion 18 650 and negative and positive are marked on the uh, 
plastic there. It fits in there a little snug, but it does get in there. Also, I came with this uh, lanyard wrist strap already installed. So I thought we'd uh, give it a little uh, spin here on uh, on the bands. This is uh, early afternoon, so I don't think we'll be picking up any AM DX stations today. Um, at night, it does fairly well. I mean, I've gotten um, some fairly good stations, you know, which I consider a, a decent radio if it can pick up, you know, um, uh, WSM and uh, WBZ the Chicago stations, Cincinnati, um, those sorts of things. Uh, I consider it to be uh, a fairly decent uh, radio. Um, and this, this does fairly well on the AM band. It does go up to um, 1710 on this particular one. And uh, so I thought we'd give it a little, uh, just a little spin up and down the dial and see what we can, we can pick up. So let's see what mode we have it in here. I guess I guess I'll do the FM band first. Just do a little quick scan on the FM band. Uh, the headphones are, I believe, mono as well, so no stereo. Sounds to him as There's if we're the uh, power light, fairly bright. In the dark, it's kind of overpowering. Uh, it can be annoying a little bit with that bright of an LED. It is but a moment of time, and we think it's a thousand years. And here is the problem. God has put eternity in our hearts, and there is something within us that wants... It is a DSP-style radio. Sunshine today in downtown Detroit. One day the storm Help before his customers are left waiting. I'm so sorry. We'll be right with you. Who's got table six? Indeed can help him hire great people fast. So, why are we not hearing much about it? Patrick, thanks for that voicemail. We also got this email from Denise who says, My partner who's fully vaccinated got a breakthrough case of COVID back in April after traveling abroad. Even though he wasn't admitted to the hospital, he became extremely ill and is still experiencing a host of issues. Yes, the vaccines work. It saved his life. However, the CDC needs to be honest with the public and let them know that breakthrough cases can result in longer-term issues. A fact that we feel is... I think about Ross Pro. Have you ever thought about what Ross would think? <laughs> Now listen, I am all ears. <laughs> One thing you need to do in your family is listen. Did you hear me? Listen, listen, listen. I'm all ears. I wish my ears were bigger so I'd listen more. But anyhow, uh, family, and then, then you, you think there's like old Barney Five, old Don Knox. Now listen, I'm telling you, home, oh, you can't beat the family. I love my little family. I think my granddaddy would just call it, it's dry, it hadn't rained. Like Campbell says, flash droughts are not a new phenomenon. But he says he does feel like he's seen weather patterns change here, with wet times getting wetter. The quicker picker upper. It's 
So as you can see, it picked up quite a few FM stations. So I'll put the antenna down. And we'll go on the AM band. Tune these uh, DSP radios. You have to move the tuner pretty slowly so you don't pass up um, a signal. And it does have difficulty picking up a weak signal amongst stronger ones. It'll tend to want to lock in on the stronger stations. So that's the AM band. It, it does do a lot better um, at night. There's a lot more to pick from at night. Um, but it does, it does decently well. It certainly will pick up your local stations for sure. And some um, moderately uh, distant ones too. So um, it's pretty nice in that regard. Now we'll um, switch over to the um, MP3 player. And when it's in MP3 or mode, MP3 player mode, it'll turn blue the power light and it will flash as it's playing the track come in welcome i'm eg marshall welcome once again to the shadow world of mystery and suspense to a dark and cryptic universe called the imagination when we were young we liked to believe there are things money cannot buy you know, things like love, happiness. But as we grow older and learn more about the world, well, we're not so sure. As a matter of fact, many of us even begin to believe that the only thing money cannot buy is a fresh new body and a chance to live another lifetime. Well, don't be too sure of that. Our mystery drama, The Forever Man, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Sam Dan. All right, so if we turn it off, and say you left off at that part of the story, when you have an MP3 mode, and you turn it back on again. The Mystery Theater by Sam Dan, and stars Paul Hecht. So it just, it just starts a little bit before where it left off. So it'll put you right back to where you were, which is a kind of a... A nice um, feature if you're listening to old-time radio shows on it. Mystery Theater by 
Sam Dan and stars Paul Hecht. It is sponsored in part uh, by New Sugar to the, the CBS one. Radio Mystery Theater. The Chicago Theater of the Air. You can pause it too. Pause it. Turn it back on. And um, you can even use the flashlight at the same time as you're listening to the radio. So that's kind of nice. So there you have it, the uh, Easy BMB RD207 AM FM MP3 player pocket radio. Uh, I'd say all in all it's a pretty nice radio, it works pretty good. Um, I tried it out, actually lost power here at the house and uh, had it and used the flashlight to see around and uh, actually listen to some um, uh, MP3s, some radio shows while we're waiting for the uh, power to come back on so it actually came in pretty handy I think the uh, no weather version would be handy too as well with the weather band on there um, but I think uh, you know if you uh, are looking for some entertainment you've got the AM band the FM band and you've got your mp3s you can listen to and a flashlight it's uh, a good radio to have around the house in case of uh, a blackout or you know take it with you uh, camping or hiking or whatever what have you um, I think at the time I bought this on Amazon it was about um, oh, 17 or 18 dollars I think the no weather radio version was similar in price it does come with the little uh, cable to charge the battery and it comes with the battery as well so all in all I'd, I'd recommend it I think it's a pretty nice little pocket radio with lots of features and uh, if you're interested in one, they have, they have them on Amazon, and I'm sure they have them elsewhere. And uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, the mini walkthrough of the uh, the Easy BNB RD207 pocket radio. Until next time, this is the Radio Geek.